for qualifying. Who's first out? Uh, I believe Carr. Looks like Wayne Carr. Wayne Carr is first out on the circuit. Well, welcome everyone to the qualifying at Newcastle. We're here live for the Super 2 broadcast of the Newcastle um, Super 2 race. And my name is O'Kurt, and joining me once again is Mick Mill and Charcoal. Welcome back, boys. Uh, hey, yeah. hey O'Kurt. It's a uh, good, good afternoon here in uh, Newcastle. It is a good afternoon here in Newcastle. Bit smoky from the uh, bushfires around here. Pray for some rain. Yeah, we need to pray for some rain for all the uh, farmers in the area. Apparently, it's been quite drought filled on that side of uh, country. I mean, I'm in Perth. Don't know how I'm watching the race, being that I'm in Perth. But anyway, I am watching the race here today live. Well, first um, up of the session, Wayne oh, Carr. Wayne Car oh, he oh, spun into the fence. Wayne Carr spun oh, into the fence, starting his lap. And the um, Australian Arsehole Association cars back in pit lane. What else have we got? We've got cousin Peter Stenberg. Just an update on uh, Peter Stenberg, guys. I'll just get his car on my screen, actually selected. Uh, Peter Stenberg has moved to the ZB this round after riding off his fuck you racing car. And uh, we believe he is back alive. Yeah, I'm not sure how that can happen. Were able to attach his head to a, another body. And, uh, <laughs> thankfully, it was uh, probably a bit better than the body. Uh, that's how he goes tonight. That's uh, it's pretty incredible the modern medicine that they're able to do that and get Peter Stenberg back out on the track tonight. So um, oh, it's been a crash oh. again. That's that. Steve Warwick's back out there and. Uh, He said, um, whatever the name of the, he said security racing car. Let's see what the first lap times of the session are going to be. Yep, what are the first lap times of the session going to be? Don't know. So we'll see, we've got Termo on a 10.7, he's in 6th place. Cam Rutley just done a 10.4. Tino is crossing the line, he has done an 8 flat. So that is pole wow. position so far for RSM Latino. Excellent lap. Oh, big commitment. Okay, the Beecroft has done oh, a 10-5. Beecroft. Wayne Carr with a 9-3. Oh, and that's Rory around the background. Rory's smiling in the fence. Oh, there. and uh, Kelvinator off the road into the skate road at turn one. Oh, that is a good view. Go <laughs> to Peter Stenny Stenberg. Ah, it's help. like the, the sex drug sim racing driver of Glenn Miles is behind, set his first lap of the session. He is. He comes down the S's here in Newcastle. <coughs> Taking a very conservative approach to the start of his laps. Is <coughs> Peter Stenberg in front of him? Perk, when he's got the old uh, the bit of porn up going on the <laughs> dashboard of his car. But... <coughs> Let's see if we can get kind of racing. Uh, see if we can get some strong Don't believe the Nissan actually has a dash in the cockpit. Um, oh. So. oh, big late break. Big late break. I don't believe Fox Sports has installed the camera. <laughs> but he's made a pass on Peter Stenberg in the um, qualifying session. So oh, it's oh. a fence away. Old Nissan. Steve Warwick still out there. Steve Warwick. Oh. Has had an interesting <laughs> moment. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Rody joining us today for his first start. Um, commentated, a, commentated Adelaide in the main series. Oh, a, yeah, he's had a shot. He's in the uh, 010. Uh, he is, he is. PBF Racing Development, I believe. That was Glenn Miles. Oh. Had a shot. I'm just going to get a quick replay of that. Oh, it's, it's Peter Stenberg has <laughs> had him off. So. Uh, interesting little exchange there. Craig it's Baird's good to see that, that one. It is the has got the same brain <laughs> with the new body, so we like that from from Peter. Yeah, that's uh, that's Peter 
in his usual vein of form there. Just having a look to see what other what other is going on out there. Um, I'd oh, just so like to make a note to the broadcast. Uh, sorry, what was that? I struggling to hear that. Press enter. Press enter. Yeah, I'll, I can't set time if I don't press enter. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. So, oh. Oh. that Steve Warwick on two wheels? Was it Steve Warwick on two wheels? Well, that was, oh, it was Hayden Warwick. Hayden Warwick. Hayden Warwick. Oh, that is a big shunt from wow. Hayden Warrington in the uh, MP Sim Sports car. He's had a rather large knock into the wall. He's back in the pit lane now. Caleb, Caleb Beecroft's on a lap. He is. Watch on board with Caleb Beecroft as his full commitment down the hill. We will have a look on board with Caleb Beecroft. Oh, Caleb Beecroft oh. in the fence. Looks like he's running a very soft car there. Okay. Yeah. Dad's uh, had a lot of rebound there off that curb. Might need to do a little bit of damper tuning to get this car right, but yeah. yeah. We're actually in the, in the this Super 2 Series, they're all the same Oh. Are they? Oh, thanks for that. Um, Colin, that's interesting information that I was not aware of, so... Um, yeah, technical information. So they should all know about what damper clicks to make. Yeah, yeah, the Beecroft comes across the line. I don't know what I've just done, but I've now fucked the view up. But yeah, um, that was interesting. Uh, who are we looking at now? What is now happening on track? Hey, Calvinator. He's done an 8.8 eight so far this session. That's good enough for P4. Stephen got a bit of rap with what is going on. Wayne Carr has done an 8.6 and he's in fifth so far in the session. Termo with a 10-1 in... Sorry, 6 oh. Termo's had a very uncharacteristic end to the season, it seems. Yeah, he's um, okay. had very good pace at Bathurst, oh. but his form sort of dropped off since then. He's had a bit of a knock on the wall, though. Oh. Watch Termo. Yeah, he's... Take Has uh, Jack Daniels Racing Transporter arrived at the track yet? Uh, we'll have to check that. I, I I hear that they had a delay. I heard the um, truck driver got pulled over for drunk driving. <laughs> I believe the they had that same delay a few weeks ago. They, they did like, have that same delay a few weeks ago. Seems like the Ford Racing drivers made it, so... Has the Ford Racing Maybe they're still unloading the car. Where is the Ford Racing driver? Here's the Ford Racing Driver of Acclaim Bite, who has made it to the circuit. So, we're hearing reports that uh, they're unloading the Jack Daniels Racing Car, but they're having issues getting it out of the truck. That car is running some very strange It's got very low ride heights and very low tyre pressures. It definitely does, that is very low to the ground there from the uh, Ford Racing machine. Holy shit, that is low. <laughs> Just like the side <laughs> says. <laughs> Must want to go further. <laughs> <laughs> the side skirts on the front splitter go to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's built tough for sure. <laughs> Definitely. This may may give the car a, a little bit of under push here for a clean bike. Maybe he might struggle with some frontal interaction, and he has oh. taken the um, Cameron Crick line through turn one. Oh, oh and he's almost hit Steve Warwick. <laughs> we look at back at a replay of slow motion of how close he got to Steve Warwick there. We can. We're gonna get on, go on board with a claim bite for this. Which I don't that know was, why that's done that, but anyway. Uh, that how do we? How do we good. get a slow mo? Down button on the arrows, on on the keyboard. Oh, that's right. Here we go. We've got a slow mo of a claim bite, and he gets oh. very close to Steve Warwick there. We can see. That is uh, that could have been a extremely big close there. Those two. Anyway, we'll just check to see if we... the Jack Daniels car is on track. It seems like... He's, he's got the same setup. He does have the same setup, that's a bit and unusual. It must be the, the new, um... They must be trialling the new damp. Must be trialling the new damp for this for next year. Um, we've got you there, Ayana. Um... <laughs> so, uh, look, we're down here at the Jack Daniels garage. I have an issue unloading the car. And they put the setup on very low to the ground. Like, I don't know what they thought there was the setup. So, yeah, it was all wrong with suspension. But, uh, 
Let's see how they go. <laughs> Thanks, Rihanna, for your comments. They were very helpful. We're going to watch the Jack Daniels racing driver come through and set his first lap. And he has also taken the camera quick line. <laughs> It, it seems like uh, the Jack Daniels and Ford Racing driver don't know which way the track goes at turn one. Yeah, it does seem very much like that. And we watched the Jack Daniels race. They obviously drive. weren't here for the driver's group. Well, they weren't because they rocked up about three minutes to go in this session. And we're hearing it, we're hearing it crash your head. Who the hell is that? Oh, it's Caleb oh, Beecroft. Caleb Beecroft. Covering from that, so that's. Oh. <laughs> oh, and that's escalated there. Oh, we ever have a look at the Peter Stembo car and see if the, he's running the same setup as a claim bite and Dodger? We can. We can. Yeah, we hear they share setup. Oh, yeah. it seems like Peter Stembo's got yeah, his own route of setup this week. Yeah, it's going to and it's paying off. Maybe that explains the lateness of the track for the Ford driver and the uh, Jack Daniels driver. Maybe that is why they turned up so late to the circuit. Peter well, Stenberg is in P10 in qualifying with a 10.7 by the way. Oh. So not a bad luck time from Peter Stenberg. That's a great effort. Oh. It's car looks hooked up, doesn't it? It does look hooked up. The uh, Ford racing car in the background does not look hooked up. Oh, that's the understeer on it. Let's get an on board from, from the Ford racing driver. I'll probably wrap around uh, Newcastle. We can get an on board with the Ford racing driver around Newcastle. There we go. Race after the 100 meter board. Oh my oh. god! Oh no! That's a big accident. That is a big accident. I think that damper will be in the crowd. Yeah. So do I. That is uh, uh, that is quite huge. And Newcastle protesters aren't going to be happy about that. No, they're not. Um, yeah, we heard they were chanting no place for a race outside the race. Man. Yeah, move the right. Uh, uh, what was what's their what's their other one that? Uh, Right race, wrong place. Yeah, <laughs> it's fair enough from the the uh, protesters. Anyway, is that the conclusion? That is of the conclusion of qualifying. So we will get the results up on our screen um, when I work out how the fuck I'm going to do that. <laughs> and there I have. Uh, we've got um, RSM Latino. He is on pole position here. With um, give me a second. I'm having some technical troubles. I believe Wayne Carr was second. Wayne Car is second. Why isn't that working? There we go. No, that's not what I want. Fuck off. There we go. Wayne Carr is in uh, second position, followed by Hayden Warrington in third. We then have um, Caleb Beecroft in fourth with an 8.7 as well. Both those times pretty close. And Calvinator is in fifth on an 8.8. Cam Rutledge is in P6 on an 8.9. With Termo, our championship leader, in uh, seventh on a 9.6. Rody on debut, P8, good qualifying effort, and he's the last driver in the nines. With Steny on a 10.7, only man in the tens, in ninth place, with Rory Smythe in 11th. We then have a claim by Steve Warwick, Sex Drug Sim Racing, Dodger, and John McDonald, who has elected to not qualify and start from pit lane, due to some troubles with his motor vehicle. Thank you for that, Oskurt. No worries. Uh, we'll take a quick break and be back with the start of the race. That we will. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready for this race. We've almost got live pictures here from Newcastle of the race. We're back from the ad break. My name is still Oskurt. It doesn't change. Um, same name. Had it for a while. We're hearing in that uh, John McDonald was having... Uh some issues with uh, the regulations of the car and getting into the race. Yeah, he had an uh, illegal car. Wasn't meeting yeah. the regulations, so that he was I think he had not only lift in the engine, but lift in the um, suspension, lift in the uh, rear wing, and lift in the head as well. So Yeah, there's it's a lot of stuff going on with that uh, John McDonald car. Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I've got fucking no idea. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get away here. I need to work out what the hell I'm doing. We're gonna edit all this out in the post production. Why is it saying a claim bite's on pole when claim bite is clearly not on pole? 
once you press play, it should change. Yeah. Yeah, okay. RSM Latino on pole. Yeah. Alright. So we're getting ready for Did the race. Did you the win, boys? Oh, I think Chris Carr will be strong here in this race. I think Hayden Warrington will also be strong, but I mean, I, I honestly reckon Cuz first pole, he will fight the victory here today. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm reckoning the sex, sex drug sim racing driver has a good chance. He's like the turtle that wins the race at the end, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, there's plenty of drama in this race, and to finish first, first you must finish. Your pick, Charcoal? Ah, uh, I can't go fast. Yeah, I think Kaz is, oh. I think Kaz is yeah. the uh, the beast and he's the legend and everybody loves him, so be good to see Kaz with the victory for Rock Solid Mates Racing. Do they have a formation map here? Well, yes. that this is the uh, Rock Solid Mates front row. It is a Rock oh, Solid Mates front row. They're oh, that the is a summon at spec start for all the team, eh? It is. Formation map. Rear tyres more. Rear tyres. Wayne Carr forgot to go. Wayne Carr, I think, did forget to go. Anyway, we'll go for our grid and we've got um, Cuz on the pole position. We've got. Uh, <laughs> if I just seen, just seen John McDonald is still stranded on the grid. John McDonald is having technical problems and is still stranded on, stranded on the grid. That car has not moved. I think he's got lift in the starter motor as well. Probably yeah. The, the throttle cable snapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but there seems to be a big problem. Anyway, we're going to go through, keep the, to go through the grid, and we've got um, RSM Latino on pole position, followed by Wayne Carr. Hayden Warrington, our winner last time out, is in P3 with Taylor Beecroft in fourth. We have Kelvinator in fifth in his second race. No, yeah, that is Kelvinator. Second, oh, sixth place is Cam Rutledge. Seventh is Championship Leader Termo with Rody in the next position, Benjamin Rhodes. Peter Stenberg out of the next position. We had Rory Smythe, the claim bite, Glenn Miles, and Dodger running out our field. And also John McDonald. Oh yes, but he's has he got now, the car started? He is back in the pit lane. He, he is driving McDonald out of the pit lane. Had and... a failure. E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> <laughs> and. He had to start from the pit it lane. Oh yeah, it seems like he's e only starting e a lap down o. here. Yeah, well, no, they don't count the formation lap as a lap, so he should still be able to start from pit lane there, but he will be a Is sector that... behind the field. Okay. Why oh, are you excited for this race? Oh, oh yeah, excited. who's going to get the jump here? I reckon Hayden Warrington's going to get a good start. I do too. They're all lined up. The revs are rising. Revs are rising. We are go well, here in Newcastle. Oh, oh it's Dark Cave oh. Beecroft. It's all gone, this termo is going around the background. There's a big thing. Oh, oh hey, why you just rolled over? Oh, Caleb Beecroft's involved. This is a huge accident. Just, we're going to have to get a replay of this, guys. We're going to have to get a replay. Oh, boy. It's going to be a lot to decipher what happened in this crash. So, so looks like RSM Latino turned in on... Hayden Warrington, he certainly Hayden did. Hayden Warrington, though. And Caleb Beecroft has also taken a, a pretty tight line. Arsene Latino is airborne through the air, and yes. Hayden Warrington's rolled into the path oh, of he's Caleb the Beecroft. Oh, rear wing of Caleb Beecroft. Oh. Where are we? We're going to do that. So we're going to do this in slow motion. And we'll go up to the next camera point. Termo's still oh. stranded on the main straight. He is still on the main straight, he's still having a crash. We look in the background, Peter Stenberg has done very well to avoid that spinning car of Hayden Warrington, oh, but he has hit oh, Dodger the Jack Daniels car of Dodger and put him in the fence. <laughs> oh, Caleb Beecroft has rolled back onto the oh, track, not holding his brakes, and he has taken out Benjamin Rhodes and Rory Smythe. Oh, oh, oh. Peter Stenberg oh, goes oh. under the crash! Oh, it's Peter Stenberg in the head, and that may, that may be a fatal accident there. Uh, well, we had a fatal accident last time can, out. Look, can we look at an onboard from Peter Stenberg? From we can the, have an onboard of Helmet Peter Cam. Stenberg. Of Helmet, the Helmet Cam. Cam. Let's let me get Peter Stenberg up. That is not a Peter Stenberg camera. That is, that is an interesting camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's the. Is that that is the onboard of Peter Stenberg? Is it? <coughs> that is. All right. Yeah. Sorry, we're having a few issues. I don't know why my camera is not working in the right way. There we, there we go. There we go. There we go. That is the onboard of Peter Stenberg through the crash. So oh. if we look, he has. There's no Larry Bar anymore, so he's clearly taken a rear wheel to the head. So <laughs> that is a. Peter Stenberg. That's a major he's injury for him once yeah, again. I think he'll be off to get some more stuff, so we what a huge crash, but uh, yeah, we haven't had the safety car come out. Is Termo still standing on the main straight? We've got to go and check that out. Termo is to underway. Termo? Hayden Warrington is upside down. Rory Smythe is doing a fixed spin and recovering. We're going to go up to turn two and continue. So we've got RSM Martino who's leading the field away from car of Calvinator, who all survived that crash. Cam Rutledge, Benjamin Rhodes, Peter Stenberg. Oh, Oh, Caleb B. Caleb B. Oh, oh. having a big dive at Dodger. We're going to get catch this one. Caleb B. Croft just successfully Dodger drew on Dodger. Oh. oh. Dodger's hit the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> Dodger's crashed into Glenn Mars. And he's holding up his teammate a claim butt. Jeez, these guys. Do you think Dodger's hit reverse there? I don't know what Dodger's done there, but that is very interesting. Maybe we can look at it on board and see if he can pluck the reverse. I'll actually go back and we'll do a replay. Had a lot of replays in this first lap. Let's have a look on the onboard. I don't know why my camera's died there. I... This is, this is and he's he has, reverse! He has! He's flat reverse! <laughs> oh! He's done major damage to the gearbox with that one. Oh, that is uh, major there from Dodger. Nice. Yes. Some, some gearbox issues there. Gearbox oh. issues there in the Jack Daniels the racing Dodger. car. We're gonna go back to the front because Chris Carr has taken the lead of the race. Not sure how's how that happened? Don't this know how is that's great happened. So, um, that's a big change for the lead there, and... Ooh, Apex hunting there from Peter Stenberg. And he's got Caleb Beecroft all over him. So I'm going to keep an eye on those guys. I mean, uh, Caleb Beecroft is going to charge to recover from that accident at the start of the race. I reckon that he'll be wanting to get past Peter Stenberg as soon as possible. He's going to go up the inside and he of Peter Stenberg. And he had to dive with Peter Stenberg. Peter Stenberg squeezed him right down. Oh. But Caleb Beecroft's got the move done. Oh. Even with a bit of Morsi under the fence. Peter Stenberg is not happy about that bit one. Of he is bit not of happy with that one, but... Caleb Beecroft now having a look at Benjamin Rhodes. Oh, and he's had a dive. Oh, oh Caleb. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. He's gone around the outside. Oh. oh. And right, he yeah. has got their move done. That, that is a good move good. there from Caleb Beecroft. And he is up into... Has brought Peter Stenberg. Has brought Peter hey. Stenberg back. Just going to check back through the field. Playing by... Yeah, oh, Dodger. Dodger. Yeah, we won't focus on Dodger. John McDonald has made up to this on Rory Smythe already from his pit lane start. <laughs> we continue to watch the field. This battle still rages on here with Caleb Beecroft, Peter Stenberg and Benjamin Rhodes. But Hayden Warrington in the background slowly closing in cover from that huge rollover. Should watch, see where your favourite driver is from the camera. Gotta say my favourite driver here is Dodger. That is my favourite driver maybe Peter, or, or maybe Peter Stenberg. We noticed that Steve Warwick didn't make it to the grid. Uh, can you give us an update, Colin, on that situation? Um, I actually can't at this stage. Sounds like you're having issues with your microphone, so you can't give us an update on anything. So thank you for that bit of information there. With Dodger's in the oh, pit Dodger. lane. Dodger is in the pit lane, so that's an early stop. That's a strange strategy in a 12 lap race where there is no compulsory pit stop. So Seems like they've adjusted the right heights on the. I think Jack they may be, car. may be fixing those gearbox issues we saw earlier. It's done. Yeah. Wayne Carr gets yeah, to lead the race, but he's apex new, hunting. New transaxle going into the. Um, We've heard the issues with the gearbox is that the gearbox was scraping on the ground from how low the car was. <laughs> that is a, that is a potential issue that they were having there with that gearbox. This battle's closed up at the front between uh, Car Latino and Calvinator. With that is Cam, Cam Rutledge. Rutledge has great pace Pink. today. Oh, Caleb Beecroft. Caleb Beecroft has stretched away from these guys now, and Peter Stenberg has made the pass on Benjamin Rhodes. I'm going to watch them all come down the S's here. Dodger has come back out of the pit lane. Oh. This vehicle. I just want to make a, a note to the 
Still looking pretty low, I think. It is still looking oh, right! Oh, oh. How does he crash there? Yeah, he's crashed at the, the impossible part of the crash. <laughs> he has. That requires talent. Remember, oh. he was on his lid earlier. Oh, he's hit the inside wall. That oh, car is, my God. It looks very ill handling. Yeah, from Rory's oh, mind. I think I think the driver's a bit ill. Well, he he did be. He was upside down earlier. Um. So he's probably he's got some. Oh, it might be concussed. He might be concussed. Probably got some vertigo. Yeah, well he's pretty high up the ground there. I must say it's an impressive performance for Peter Stenberg, who currently runs in P6 in this race after starting all the way down in 10th. So he's good, made good up. Debut good debut by Benjamin Rhodes. Good debut by Benjamin Rhodes as well, and he's staying on the back of Peter Stenberg, who's Peter Stenberg's been here since every round since round one, and Benjamin Rhodes <laughs> making his debut after so commentating on round one. Third Benjamin Rhodes has uh, updated the, the blueprint VZ Commodore up to the VF from Holden Racing Team, the Mark Scape car. Yeah, I thought I recognised that car. Good livery. Looking for one car stretched away from RSM Latino at the front, with uh, Calvinator still holding uh, station there in that battle. What lap are we on here? We are already on lap 5 of this 12 lap race. It's going pretty quickly. Keep an eye on your favourite driver. Cam Rutledge having a lonely race there in P4. Although... Well, I'm, I'm hearing Caleb's... news that the rooster can't make the commentary box tonight. Well, that's because we caught Wise and we got him uh, exterminated in between the oh. rounds, so... Oh. Exterminated. Exterminated, yes. Oh, That's the terminology that we use in the business. Oh, Peter Stenberg. Oh, Peter Stenberg. So how do you think the conditions are out there in racing driver land? Oh, it looks pretty good. I'm just watching Peter Stenberg. Oh, Caleb's gone off. Caleb has gone that's, off the road, so that's... That's a P5. That's a P5 Stenberg. for Peter Stenberg. We're going to continue to watch this battle back, because it's the thing that's happening here the most at the minute. Oh. It's really taking a toll on the drivers, the heat out there and the smoke coming into the car from the bush fires. Yeah, I mean, they're, like only, to their heads they're only in the car the for road. six laps, but uh, it's still pretty tough. And it doesn't help when Peter Stenberg then produces more pollution with his tyres. As Caleb Beecroft <laughs> goes down and makes the pass there. Pass. That's good, good, good pass. pass. Then, he defends it back. then he defends it back. And that is really good driving, smart driving there from Caleb Beecroft. Now, I'm feeling... Peter Stenberg wasn't happy with Caleb being cross last move, so he might he might make it a bit harder this time. I do have that feeling as well. Be interested to see see if he gets a good run up the hill here. And does he dodge in the background letting Tomo through? Oh, oh, oh Caleb's oh. on the inside. Stupid move by Caleb Beecroft. That's a big dive on there for Caleb bomb, Be yeah. Beecroft. They're side by side for the answers. Oh Peter Stenberg! Peter Stenberg has put. He has been doored off the road. Oh, he's hit Rody. Oh. oh, Peter Stenberg is around. Oh, Peter Stenberg is gonna be fuming. Yeah, that was a pretty shit oh. move there. Oh, he's almost taken Termo out in the rejoin. Peter Stenberg, Jesus. Oh, he oh. goes from bad to worse for Peter Stenberg and he puts that car in the wall. Looks like Peter Stenberg accidentally hit the clutch there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm actually, John McDonald. I'm gonna go back to the front and just check out what's going on. It's closed up at the front this battle with the top three. We'll keep an eye on this one for a bit now. Oh, Calvinator. Oh, Calvinator. It's Seems like the tyres on Calvinator's car have uh, come up to temperature nicely and the car's turned on a bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it seems like his car is performing quite well. Car's dropped off a bit here after taking the race lead really early. So it will be interesting to see how the rest of this race goes. Who's your pick out of these three for the victory? Kelvinate is a bit of a dark horse, I think. A dark horse in a dark car? Yeah, oh, I, oh, I can yeah. see that. Oh! oh. Latino. Kelvinate's done well, he hasn't made a mistake on a race. Guys in front of him keep making mistakes. So, so do I reckon the two guys in front have probably got more pace than Kelvinator, but they haven't made the errors. And 
As yeah. car goes apex hunting down there again, her, uh, second last Seems corner. like car's running very high tire pressures, it's very fast at the yes. start. Oh, a claim by it, claim by it, oh! Claim by it! We're gonna oh, have to get a replay of that. Catch an on board there from uh, <laughs> Kelvin. Yeah, we'll just find him. Oh. Let's get an on board at Kelvin. Oh, that's a clean fight in there. That's gonna get the eyes on race control. That could be an exclusion oh. for oh. round one, 2020. Oh, Calvinator with that's, nowhere to go. That's a dangerous accident there. And he's can't do that at this level. When you're in the middle of the road, it's going around, and that's really that's ruined Calvinator's chances of a race victory here. Yeah? It has. We put the commentator's curse on him there. We're talking him up, and now he's crashed. Yeah, pretty disappointing. Well, that elevates Cam Rutledge up into um, P3 in this race. And it now becomes a two horse race between these two. Oh, and cars around! Cars oh, in the fence! That's as you say that. Oh, oh, that could be a puncher. That could be a puncher. That could be a puncher. He's done the reverse and he's got it flicked around and he's still kept oh, the V2. Looks but right. That really has handed this race to RSM Latino. Of course, RSM. I think his Latino. car looks okay. I assume Latino has not technically won a race in this series yet. Um, I mean, he won Gold Coast, but he was not the first card across the line with strange circumstances, so. Championship leader Termo is having the shocker, shocking round. Where is Termo? Termo is back in P7. We're gonna go through the field, we're gonna go back to the front, and we're gonna watch the field when we work out what the fuck we're doing, because we're useless. Do you think we can get a static camera there and watch the field go? Yeah, by? we will get a static camera down at no, turn number one. Alright. So, we'll get an eye on the gaps as well when we do this. So, there we've got, we got RSM Latino who's still leading the race by a fairly large margin now of uh, Wayne Carr. That's Cam Rutledge even further back, but a claim by who is a lap down and he has had a oh monumental crash. <laughs> Oh, we're watching. oh, that's a 70, 70 G accident there, That is a 70G accident. Oh, yeah, that's definitely 70 G. That's distracted us from the fact that Calvinator is fourth. Can we just, we're just gonna, um, sorry, we'll get, we've lost our train of thought there. We're gonna have to go watch that replay of that accident. Low, low images here. It's gonna be Where pretty was confronting that? here. Here it is. Here it is. I reckon that he's braked. He's braked the about. 50 meter mark. I'm not sure. Why did he's got a big lock there. up. It's about 70k as well. Look at the tire there. The tire is stationary. Oh, it's a puncher. It's a puncher. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that has center punched the wall there. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> 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 Trust Ford. And you know what? It's built tough, but. <laughs> Go further. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep watching that. This Calvinator that was fourth and now run through the grounds. What the fuck have I just done? I've lost our camera, boys. I need to stop. There it is. There it is. That's Rody in sixth. We've got Tomo, our championship leader, in seventh. With uh, Steny in eighth. Good drive from Steny today. Oh, he did have that Steny incident. Still there. John McDonald is in ninth. Is it ninth? Yeah, oh, oh, John fine. McDonald's had a crash. <coughs> and then oh, there's Mac blank John space. John McDonald had a shunt. E there is nothing. E well, here comes Dodger, who is our last runner. Dodger, I believe he's a lap down. I don't know how many laps down he is, but he is. This down. could be Dodger's last race for him. We have yeah, heard that this could be Dodger's Rubers retirement down the drive. We're hoping that Dodger gets re-signed next year for Jack Dennis Racing, but apparently they're not too happy with his performances so far this year. Oh, well, Claimbite, Claimbite stopped. Claimbite has retired the from the race. Also, the performances as well, having two DUIs and two <laughs> Well, yeah, it's... Got to make it hard for that team to continue to be on the grid next year. But yeah, Claimbite has retired from this motor race after that damage, so... I'm hearing, uh... Well, I guess Corey he won't Preston, be going the, the truck driver for Jack Daniels Racing, has been fired for being oh. late. Dodger's gone off. I'm just gonna get a replay of that. He's just braked way too late. He's got a punch on maybe. Oh, man. 
Oh. I have little words, but continue with the rice. I've got a one word talent. Talent. We're on lap 11, boys, so the next lap will be the final lap of this race. So it's pretty stagnant at the minute. Not a lot happening out there. What do we want to look at, boys? Because it's fairly spread out. Oh, I think we'll focus on the leader. Yeah. We can focus on uh, Latino. He deserves the. RSM Latino. He, ha he has been a very good drive from RSM Latino. He has kept it clean and he hasn't uh, made any mistakes that we've seen. Oh. Using all the never road. Been a road. Dodger getting out of the way in the background. Good one from Dodger. Look forward to seeing Dodger back next year. I, I really hope the Dodger does return and this isn't his final drive. I've heard that he's, uh, he's still going to turn up for the Aussie racing cars when they come to his castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he hasn't completely retired from racing, but he, his V8 supercar career may be over. Whoa. That's just if has time for the so, we're also hearing rumours that uh, Jake Burton, the Brad Jones racing driver's truck, drove into a dam on the way to the track and sadly couldn't make the event. Same that is true as well. And uh, Esports transporter as well. Apparently the transporters were linked. Well, no, well, I heard, what I heard happen with Dame Warren is that um, as Lara Simitino comes through to win this race, so uh, well done to Latino, we've got a static camera at the line and we'll watch Wayne Carr come across. I, I heard that the uh, porto in Roland Dane's office broke, so they couldn't uh, get to the track. They lost the USB stick. Do you think we can get Jake Burt and Dane Warren for an interview on the phone wondering uh, what happened to their transporters? Oh, I think we can. We've got Caleb Beecroft, he's coming through in fifth, that's good recovery after his drive. We've got, oh, this close battle here with uh, Rody and Termo to the line for 6th and 7th. Peter Stember comes across in 8th. One, one of his better performances this year in his updated ZB Commodore. John McDonald had a ninth place. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> so we're here where we may be able to get Jake Burton on the line here. Might we be able to get Jake Burton on the line? That would be be amazing. Someone of that high caliber to come and talk to us would be great. Is anyone else finishing this race? Has Dodger finished this race? Or did I miss uh, it? Or are we waiting on Casper? No, I think that is all our runners. That is all our runners here today. Oh, no. no, there he is. There he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Could be his last race in a supercar. Number 79, Jack Daniels Racing, Holden VF Commodore crosses the line, and that is a top 10 finish there for Dodger. Congratulations track, to so Dodger. Give him a round of applause. Well done, Jack Daniels. I'll clap, I'll clap for Racing Dodger. Driver, Dodger. And what a well done year. Seems like uh, fellow commentator Okurt is having a bit too much fun in the background. But... No, I'm just, I'm just giving Dodger the applause that he deserves. Uh, because of what could be his last drive, so we've been hearing. So, you know, we've got to celebrate the career of Dodger. Now, I'm going to get the results up on the screen for everyone. It was In the end, it was RSM Latino by 5.7 seconds over Wayne Carr with Cam Rutledge 14 seconds back. With Calvinator 14 and a half seconds back, so that was close in the end. With Calvinator actually with the fastest up of the race for an 8.5. We then had um, Caleb Beecroft in fifth with Rody sixth and Termo seventh. Very close to those two at the is line. Is there someone doing a burnout? Oh, we can have a look. Is it who? Who is it? Sorry, I don't have that up on the screen at the minute. It is Termo doing a burnout. Termo. Well, what's the championship lead winner? It's going to say leader, but he is the winner. Watch him do his burnout. I will just get. I'll just get rid of Here we the. Go. We'll get rid of those results off of my screen. Because uh, we had uh, John McDonald finish in ninth with Dodger two laps down, and then Acclaim by it, Rory Smith, Ben Miles, and Hayden Warrington not making it to the finish. Oh, good 
turn out here from Termo. Let's see if we can get a different camera angle. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, he's in the fence. He's been a great consistent. Termo really deserves it. Yeah, he's been a consistent performer all year, has Termo, and really deserves this championship win. While we're on the topic of the championship, I have got the... Sorry, I've got to do something. Sorry, uh, Mick Mill? His security pass didn't allow him back in the box. Yeah, he's been down on the ground trying to get interviews for us, and he's now back in the box. We're just watching oh, really? Termo's burnout. We're just going to get the championship points up for Super 2. Just now that the season's over, we're going to go through the top 10. I'll do it if you want, guys. I've got the information up on my screen. Um, we've got Termo for Irwin Racing with the victory after an um, impressive season with uh, two seconds, two thirds, and a win at Bathurst in the um, 125 that we had. Um, Cam Rutledge in second in the championship with two podiums, three podiums, sorry, three third places is best finish. At Winton, Bathurst, and at Newcastle today. RSM Latino for RSM Racing in third place with the two 300 point uh, scoring races here in Newcastle and the one in Gold Coast with a podium at Bathurst and a third place in New Zealand. Tony was fourth in the championship, who wasn't here today unfortunately, but he scored a podium when we were last out in Sandown. Instinct in fifth after not being here for a few rounds, but the three victories to start the season off. Wayne Carr in sixth with a season marred with um, DNFs, but a second place here today. JP Courier takes seventh. Steny for the Steny Racing Team in position eight in the points. A claim bite for Ford Racing slash Jack Daniels Racing in ninth. With Dodger for Ford Racing, Jack Daniels Racing taking out P10 in the championship. After getting P10 in the race today, that's impressive there from Dodger. Very impressive. Reminds me of a modern day Aaron McGill. <laughs> Very much so. Um, excellent, excellent driver, talented. So, been an interesting championship here in Super 2. Uh, got any final comments? Um, I believe I wasn't able to get a hold of... <laughs> A couple drivers, but yeah, we'll have to follow up on that one. That is a little disappointing. So um, we won't be having an interview then today. But uh, do we have passing? Do we have completing comments about what we saw here today? Well, it's good to see what, Termo wrapped up the championship and Iris and Latino to get his first win. Yeah, just echoing those comments from McMill. Uh, same from me. Great uh, effort from Termo all year. Uh, very consistent and great to see Cuz get his his well deserved first actual win, even though he won last round. But with the circumstances of a wild card joining, he actually didn't get the uh, first place surfboard. So good to see he gets the first place trophy here. Yes, exactly. And um, very consistent season from Termo when you look through the results. Um believe there's only three races where he wasn't in the top five out of the 11 races. So, with um, his worst round it was dropped being Auckland, uh, when he was involved in that shunt, I'm pretty sure, wasn't he? It, um, he was in that yeah, I believe crash. He was. Yeah, so that, that being his most disappointing result, and like his other results being a seventh today and a eighth at Ipswich. So, every other race being top five, that's Pretty impressive. Sure is, but anyways, I think that's just about the end of the broadcast. It is just boy. about the end of the broadcast. Do just before we go, I've got to, I've got to go back and bring out this crash from the start of this race to end us off. I feel like we need to see it again. It is some of the and most incredible vision that I have seen all year. We'll focus on a turmo at the start. We'll have a good look at this. So we'll break it down at the start here. So, actually a great start from Peter Stenberg behind by the looks of it. Yeah, very good start from um, K. 
had the big wheels fit there from Paris and Matita. What actually happened to Turn Mode? So Did he do this on his own? So I don't know, it's got a lot of wheels fit there. Definitely has a lot of wheels fit. There's already a car in the fence, so it was an accident. Looks like Roadie was coming across. A bit. Oh, Glenn Miles had a shunt by himself. Yeah. Oh, oh, he did self spin. Self spin into Roadie. And then. Great job by Peter Stenberg. Bancroft, to avoid Peter Stenberg that. has actually a missed that crash and it's not been involved at all. This is when it gets very good. So, the, do you want me to watch Mike, a bit? Uh, the eyes are race control a bit from RS and Lapino. Yeah, he definitely, definitely did a bit of squeezing. He Hayden Warrington there. He has squeezed Hayden Warrington. Hayden Brody's Warrington was well enough up. Line. Oh, very tight first turn one. It's very. Oh, very aggressive stuff there from Lapino. Seen on Caleb Creek, right? Oh. What actually did actually happen further back here? Dodger doesn't bother to take the corner to avoid all the carnage. Remember this when Peter Stenberg copped the uh, rear left of the face? This is when Peter Stenberg copped the rear left of the face. See, that's how Cuz got out of that pretty good considering he was squeezing. Yeah. Oh, that accident there with poor Dodger getting put on the wall. And Caleb Beecroft not holding the brakes on the race control after that as That well. is, uh, that's pretty poor as well. I don't know why we're watching that. Oh, and Rory Smythe, I mean, and Peter Stenberg did oh. very well to drive under that car and miss that accident. Oh, that rear left. Oh. Up in that tyre in the face. And Dodger, with a good accident avoiding skills there as well, to get out of that. A bit of karma there for Caleb Beecroft, if you'd like to think. Yeah, well... Yeah. Got a feel for Hayden Warrington there at turn you one. You do have to feel for Hayden Warrington there at turn one. If I was him, I would have opened the wheel up and say, if you're not going to give me that room, you're going to put yourself in the fence. There wasn't a lot that he could do there because he was on the inside and he really had nowhere to go except straight into that tie bundle. So. Yeah. yeah. What a crash. Oh, oh well, I think that, that just that about just happened about there. That wraps us up from here from Newcastle as we just fucking work out what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Been a, a fairly interesting race, the uh, Oak uh, Charco. It was. Just when I looked at the, the water's looking as pretty as ever. It is. Looks like it's low tide. Yeah. It's very low tide. Have a look at some of the, some of the birds it out on like the beach. Looks like the council did a good job of in the surrounding areas. They have. All the houses all the houses in the middle look great. So we take off we take off in a helicopter here at Newcastle. <laughs> and we leave the track during the race that we just watched because we're time travel. Scratchley just over there. That is Fort Scratchley. For anyone who doesn't know Newcastle. And that is the oh, Hunter River. Hey. I've just noticed something. Go over to the right where that hill is. Where, where, where? Oh, there's some very tall people standing there. Oh my god. Where, where? Below it. Look how tall the people are. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> we believe oh. that's the local Newcastle basketball side <laughs> playing in oh, the. I think what, all, what is the all Newcastle, all what's the Newcastle. Do they have a basketball side in the NBL? Oh, I, I believe they do. I just can't think of the name at the moment. Uh, oh my god, they're taller than the track. They're taller oh, than <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know the Novocastrians are an interesting bunch, but it seems like we didn't realise that they are giants as well. Look at them, like, that's the bridge. And that's the fucking people. <laughs> they're like five metres tall. Even the children are huge. <laughs> Look at, look at old mate. Oh, Jesus. That is an interesting yeah. rap here from Newcastle to end us off. Because these people, Ernia, these are the normal Novocastrians. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the people you could like, come out of Newcastle. The people but anyway. Come out of Newcastle. 
That's Mount Panorama? Oh, it's no, Hunter River. I didn't realise the Hunter River had the, its name written on it. Oh. It's much like Hollywood. Is it? Uh, Australian Hollywood with all the stars, basketball stars. As the helicopter gets very high. <laughs> the helicopter is very high. What is that and over there's there? the end of the Earth. It is the end of the Earth. It's only a small Earth. It's a what is bit that? of an island, are they? Swimming pool? Where? That is, that is a swimming pool. pool. Oh, there's something around the outside of that. I'm not sure what it is. I, I think it's a shark net. Yeah, shark net and swimming pool. Yeah. Those buildings are quite interesting. Oh, I can't get over those people. Oh, it's the sun! <laughs> <laughs> the, big, the big sun is back. The big sun is back. Stare into it. Oh, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky. I think the uh, black box around it is from the bushfires. Is that? Yeah, Doesn't look like be. much smoke in the sky up here, but definitely a lot of smoke around the sun. Probably sucked it in, made it a black. Look how, look how good the oceans look from up here. Lovely. It's a very lovely view in this helicopter. Can you see the people from here? Yes, we can.